welcome back. In the last video, we talked about passive and active transport and what kind of role they have in the kidney itself. In this video, we're going to talk about the nephron again in some more detail. Uh, the actual syllabus dot point says, explain how the processes of infiltration and reabsorption in the mammalian nephron regulate body fluid composition. So if you remember what filtration was, that first picture talks about filtration. If you remember what filtration was, filtration was at high pressure. So high pressure at the blood vessels. And this high pressure means that we have not just urea, so maybe urea might be the stuff in green here. Not just urea passing into the, the Bowman's capsule, but also salts, glucose, and amino acids, all the nutrients also. So movement of urea out of blood and movement of nutrients out of blood. So from blood into Bowman's capsule. All that happens through the process of filtration. So the, the good point, so the positive point, is we've moved, um, we've moved out urea, which is good. Moved urea into kidneys, but the problem is we've also moved in all our good nutrients as well. So the nutrients, stuff we kind of want to keep, we've moved that into our kidneys as well. So that's the first step. Second step is right here. So this is, you can imagine this is the Bowman's capsule. It's the first part. And then there's filtrate. This liquid goes further. And as it goes, we have we are surrounded by blood vessels, right? So these blood vessels have a high concentration of nutrients here. So high concentration of nutrients in the blood. But we have a low concentration of nutrients in the kidney. But even though we have low concentration, we still want to get rid of these. We still want to get them back into our blood. So remember how that happens. We have active transport, which helps us pump these from low to high. So they go back through active transport. And that happens at the proximal tube, this part here. And this pumping back, we call that reabsorption. So that word reabsorption is kind of the pumping back of good stuff. So reabsorption of nutrients. That reabsorption refers to the putting all these ones back into our blood. That's what we call reabsorption. Uh, we also reabsorb other things. We mainly reabsorb water. So like if you look at the diagram here, we've got water here um, and water here as well, H2O. We reabsorb that here and we can reabsorb that here as well. Um, so water and salts. Salts we can reabsorb or we can get rid of. But the reabsorption and excretion which happens at the proximal tube and the, and the loop of Henle, these parts, allow us to balance salt and water. So remember, one of the reasons we need to have the kidneys is to balance our salt and water. And remember, too much salt or too much water can make it isotonic, uh, can make it hypertonic or hypo hypotonic. So we want to make sure we have a good amount, a constant homeostasis of our salt and water level. It's called osmoregulation. And we have reabsorption, which is the parts of us reabsorbing water or us reabsorbing salt. Those processes allow us to make sure that by the end, so by the time we have this liquid passing, so it will go this way and then it will go down this loop of Henle. It will go back up and then it will go through here. It's a bit more reabsorption happening. And then when it's right here, this is what we call urine. So when it's here, the yellow thing is now it's called urine. And urine is just all the waste products, so the, the drugs and the urea, plus any excess water and salt. So I've on the lines here is so a waste product, so that's the urea and the drugs. But we also we get rid of so if we have too much salt or water, so the excess means too much, then we also get rid of our salts and water. And so remember if you drink way too much water, then our urine will have urea and drugs as it always will, but it will also be having lots of water, which is why it's white in color. And um, but yeah, also what happens the last resort in terms of balance are these two hormones, aldosterone and ADH hormone. And you're gonna, I'm not gonna talk about them now because you're gonna have a um, video on this in about five, six videos time. But these two also help regulating our body fluids in terms of water and salt. So we'll go for that dot point again. Explain how the process of filtration and reabsorption in the mammalian nephron regulate body fluid composition. So filtration was to make sure we get rid of urea. Filtration gets rid of urea, but the only problem is it also gets rid of our nutrients, the ones we want to keep. But through our um, 
reabsorption mechanism, which is getting good stuff back into our blood, we can make sure we reabsorb all the good stuff, which happens at the full length of the actual nephron. So we reabsorb stuff as we need it. The body knows what we need, what we don't need. And by the end, we've just got the stuff left in our urine that we don't need. So our urine is all the stuff we don't need. And that's how our kidneys help us regulate our body fluid composition. Hope that made sense. Made sense.